Hey guys, MG here, MG Covers, bringing you a brand new video, how to profit from college football parlays. This is a very creative yet low risk strategy. Uh, check out the website, mgcovers.com. Let's get started. All right, first off, the question is, why not wager college football on the spread line? And my answer to that is, do you like losing money? Um, one of the most difficult sports to handicap is college football. There's several reasons for that. Um, number one, you have limited statistical data. Uh, you have a lot of games. Um, it's just, uh, it is a very difficult sport to handicap. And for most people, it is generally their introduction to sports betting, either NFL or college football. Um, and, and most people that have tried to handicap uh, college football are very unsuccessful. Now, I can only speak from my own experience. There are people that are that handicap college football that are very successful using the spread line. It's just something from my own personal experience that I do not do, which is a strategy I came up with, this parlay strategy that we're going to share with you right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the checklist, explain it to you A to Z, and then look at some actual real-life examples. Uh, first off, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at, we're going to list all the money line favorites from minus 700 to minus 1200. And this would be for the full week. So if there's games on Thursday or Friday, we would consider those games as well. Now, what we what we don't want to do is we don't want to make our list, say, Sunday night when the games come, when the lines come out for the games for that following week, because we want the lines to be seasoned a little bit which means we want some action to be put on these games. So if there's a bad line, it will correct itself. A lot of the sharps, if there's a bad line, they will attack that line early. So the benefit of creating this list on, say, like a Monday or a Tuesday gives the, t the line um, time to be seasoned. So in a typical week, you're going to have a list of about 8 to 12 teams that are going to fit this criteria. And that's really the only criteria. We're looking for favorites from 700 to 1,200. Our parlay that we'll actually play will generally consist of about six teams. Uh, rarely will you see upsets in this range, which is why I use this particular range of 700 to 1,200. Where you will find a lot of uh, dogs winning is around that 500 range, plus 500. You will see uh, dogs win in, in that range. But 700, 1,200 is pretty safe. Um, and one thing, one of the reasons we don't go over 1,200, it's just going to add more juice to the parlay, which we don't want. What ideally we're looking for is a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning we want to wager one unit to win one unit or darn close to it. Now, when you have a list, this is very important, when you have a list of more than six games, uh, college football teams from major conferences will have precedent over smaller conference teams. Why? <clears throat> Excuse me, because lines are sharper on games with more action and not as sharp on games with less action. Uh, this is exa example I have listed below between these two teams, which is a better selection for a parlay? Texas Tech minus 840 or Maine minus 750. Now, the reason being even if you don't know, if you know very little about sports betting, do you think that the sports books would take in more money on the Texas Tech game or would they take in more money on the main game? They would take in more money on the Texas Tech game. Now, another reason why you would want to um, try to pick teams for major conferences is uh, if Texas Tech's running back is hurt and will not start in the Saturday game, you will probably know about it, probably on the front page of ESPN or close to it. If the running back for Maine is injured, you probably will not find that information out unless you go to the beat writer for Maine football and find him on Twitter. So that's reason for, um, in a perfect scenario, we want to play teams um, for major conferences so that the line is uh, very seasoned. Uh, biggest benefit to this is there's very little handicap into this, and it's very predictable. Um, you know, when we're playing these these parlay of six teams, most every team um, is going to win between 700 and 1,200. Now, it's not going to be a perfect strategy. This doesn't work 100% of the time, just like anything doesn't work 100% of the time. But, it, again, it's very predictable. And if you're smart, it can be uh, very profitable. And I want to speak a part about profitability. That is actually one of the negatives. And the reason being is we only have 12 weeks in the regular season of college football. So if you finish with five units, that would be considered a great season. 
Now, I know several handicappers um, that wager um, on college football would consider five units a very, very successful season. And if you can do that um, using the parlay strategy, then, hey, that's, uh, that's even better. And, of course, it's, a, it's very easy to uh, do because there's not a lot of skill involved in this particular strategy. So let's look at some uh, real life examples, which I always like to do. This was, um, I'm going to look, we're going to look at um, last year, week of September to 8, 2018. Uh, teams that fit this criteria, we had eight total, Baylor minus 750, Missouri minus 1,000, Middle Tennessee 1250. Sometimes I will, if it's close enough, I'll put the 1250 in there. If it's 1300, I probably would not. Uh, Utah State 1150, Texas 1250. Tulane 1,000, UNLV 1,150, and Hawaii minus 840. Now, so you have eight teams. You're going to have to pick um, around six teams to, uh, to make your parlay. So this is the actual parlay that I played. And you'll see I went with Baylor 750, Missouri 1,000, Utah State 1,150, Tulane 1,000, UNLV 1,150, Hawaii 840, and I know the question you're going to ask is, why did you pick those teams? It's because they had the lowest juice. Uh, the team we left out, uh, two teams we left out, we left out uh, Middle Tennessee at 1250 and left out Texas at 1250 as well. And the good news is this parlay actually won. We risked 1,000, won 813.31 on this parlay. So um, when you have teams that are – you know, well-known teams, you want to play, you want to take the teams with the highest juice out. Um, and, and, of course, that's dependent upon, you know, researching. And the teams that I actually play in this parlay, I will research these teams to check for injuries, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's look at another example. Now, this is a very unique example, and, and this will happen, okay? And the and, um, for the week of September 26th, there were only six teams total that fit the criteria. And I will tell you this, there's going to be some weeks you might not have six. And when you put the, say if it's five teams, you put the five teams in, it might be too much risk. It might be, a, you know, wager one unit to win a half unit, which would not be smart at all. So I would highly advise against doing that. So you never want to force a play or force a parlay. But in this particular scenario, we had Oklahoma, Dartmouth, Penn, Monmouth, Stony Brook. Uh, a lot of people have probably never even heard of Bryant University. And I will tell you this. I've mentioned this uh, on a couple uh, videos before. When you're trying to find information, the most relevant information for a particular team, the best thing to do. For example, if we were trying to find out um, Stony Brook's lineup, if they had any injuries, maybe um, see how the team practiced that week, you would go to Twitter and, or, or go to Google first, type in Stony Brook Beat Writer Football. Um, and then that will pull up the beat writer for that team. And then you would simply go to his Twitter account for the most um, relevant and up-to-date information. Because if the running back for Stony Brook is injured, has a flu, etc., again, you're not going to find that information on ESPN, but you probably w will find it for the beat writer. In this particular scenario, I did play these three teams, and this was a winner, risking a thousand, uh, one eight fifty seven ten. Uh, finally, the last example, and the reason I chose this example is for a lot of reasons. Number one is we have a lot of selection here. Um, we had eleven teams that fit the criteria: Elon, South Carolina State, Southern University, uh, Washington, Clemson, Texas Tech. And just a moment, uh, Washington, Clemson, Texas Tech, this is at those lines, 750, 925, 840. That is the perfect um, teams to play in this parlay. Um, it, it's rare to get um, Clemson under 1,000. Uh, you probably won't see that this year. Maybe, maybe not. But um, I've used Clemson in a lot of parlays the last couple of years. Uh, Alabama, but a lot of times when Alabama plays um, – you know, one of these no-name teams, you'll even see them, you know, sometimes you'll see them, you know, 50,000 to one, which is no way you'd play them. So, anyway, um, yeah, Texas Tech. Then we have Maine, 750, North Dakota State, Sam Houston State, Charleston Southern, Central Arkansas. Now, the parlays that I actually played 
Um, look at one in six teams, South Carolina State, Charleston Southern. The reason I played those teams is being from South Carolina, I'm very familiar with those programs. Um, I mean, anybody has access to that information um, if you want to research. But, again, I, I knew the program really well, both of those programs really well. So I added those to the parlay in addition to Washington, Clemson, Texas Tech, North Dakota State. And this was a winner as well. I risked 1000 and made 984 Now, uh, if we look over here back to the left, I do want to show you something. This is really uh, important. It goes back to what I talked about earlier. Maine came off at minus 750. Maine actually lost that game, um, as well as Sam Houston State, minus 1,050. So when you can, you, you want to put the more popular teams, teams from major conferences, in over teams that you don't know a lot about or teams that aren't heavily betted. Now, that's the examples that I use, and really that's the, um, that's the system A to Z. Again, it's very simple. Um, now, will you have losing uh, weeks? Absolutely. I didn't want to show those uh, just so you could see what the winners would look like. Um, but you will, you know, the, the parlay over there on the, the right that I played, you'll see parlays like that that will actually lose. And, again, usually what you'll find is you'll find, you know, it's probably going to be just one team that, um, that wrecks the parlay. And I know people might say, well, what if you broke it up? Well, if you broke it up and played it in a couple parlays, then it becomes – then it's then it's not worth it um, at all because you're paying heavy juice. So this is – and I've done that. But this is a, a, a good strategy. Like I say, you're going to probably uh, – uh, even if you had three units for the season, that would be great. Um, that would be good. Uh, five units would be great because you're only going to have, you know, generally 12 opportunities. And there may be times where – where you see like 11 teams, you might have 12, 13 teams to where you could play two different parlays. Um, again, you would want to make sure that the teams you played uh, met the criteria um, that I talked about in the strategy before. So anyway, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, playing parlays in college football, give me a shout and we'll go over it. Okay, now we're going to talk about price comparisons for subscriptions. Today's an awesome day. We're going to launch the site mgcovers.com. We're live, and we're going to go through this uh, now, and I'm really excited about it. So what we're going to do, uh, the first, it's a uh, subscription. It's a membership site. So when you join, it's a uh, monthly subscription. We have three different packages. We're going to start off with the Power Rankings package. It's $19.95 per month. Um, that includes power rankings for Major League Baseball, NFL, soccer, NHL, NCAA basketball. Now, the cool thing about this is once you subscribe, you only you will subscribe for one dollar for one week just to test it out. Again, cancel any time. And then after that seven days, it's nineteen ninety five a month. Um, and if you're not familiar with my power rankings and you say, hey, what are the power rankings? There's a video you can check out on my page. Uh, you'll see it. Uh, it says understanding MG's power rankings. I explained the Major League Baseball, which is the power rankings we have out now. NFL power rankings will be released probably week three. Soccer power rankings are just around the corner. Um, I think EPL League played their third game this week. We also handicap and do power rankings for the German League and the French League. Um, NHL power rankings generally will start maybe mid-October. They start playing in 1st October. And NCAA basketball will kick off November, so we'll probably have power rankings somewhere around the end of November. So uh, that's power rankings, nineteen ninety-five a month. Again, you can join for $1.00. Uh, that's for seven days. Check it out. And then after seven days, it's $19.95 a month. Now, second package is Daily Picks $29.95 monthly. That is for all plays for all sports. Yes, that is correct. $29.95 a month uh, for all our picks. And, and the reason why I wanted to do this was I, th I think one of the issues in the sports handicapping business is affordability issue. Um and I wanted to totally eliminate that excuse for people. And I want to make it affordable for everybody because I think what happens in this business, and I did it because I sold picks, you know, $25 card, you buy a $25 card, uh, client loses, he tries to, he buys another $25 card from you, and then he's in the hole 50 bucks, and then he lost those two days, and then he doesn't want to do business anymore. And then he's going to jump to another handicapper, and, then, and he's going to repeat this cycle over and over and over again. So what I want to do is I want to create long-term clients, but in order to do that, I want to make it affordable so that they can stick around. Um, 
and twenty nine ninety five. It's very inexpensive, and that would include plays for Major League Baseball, NFL, soccer, NHL, NCAA basketball, and the two sports that are going on now are, of course, uh, Major League Baseball and NFL. Now, in addition to the daily picks, once you subscribe to the daily picks uh, twenty nine ninety five a month, you're also going to get the power rankings for free. You'll have access to that, in both the power rankings and the daily picks. You can decide um, there's an option when you sign up whether you want those emailed to you or you can go to look at those um, on the site. Now, we'll talk about this sticking around for the for the for a long time. So it's twenty ninety five a month. That's 30 bucks. So 12 months would be three hundred and sixty bucks. So we're basically financing that three sixty for thirty bucks a month. Now, I wasn't on Instagram and I wasn't on social media uh, last year this time. But if somebody would have played all of my plays from last year this time until now you would be up a total of 55 units that includes uh being down four units currently in major league baseball so had a real good year and that's the whole point of it in order to make this work from a client perspective you have to be in it for the long haul it's the same deal with the stock market you can't buy buy a stock one day and expect to make a profit from it two days later it just doesn't work that way you have to be in it for the long term so that's one thing i wanted to do is Uh, take the affordability uh, issue out of it and hopefully build some uh, relationships with long-term clients so they can stick around and say, hey, this guy's uh, good. He knows what he's doing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, And of course, our last uh, membership options, the VIP members. Uh, This is professional handicapping coaching. In essence, is what that is. It's going to be $49.95 a month. That's going to include all the daily picks, all the power rankings, in addition to professional handicap coaching. Now, I'm going to explain what the coaching is. What I'm going to do is you're going to have this video you just saw. This will only be up for YouTube after the initial showing. And this is going to go into the VIP member section. We're going to have another video. The next video we're going to release is going to be how to handicap F5 lines in Major League Baseball. Uh, the second video is going to be how to profit from teasers in NFL. And then another video on how to handicap major league baseball a to z which i'm going to walk you through step by step by step how i handicap all those videos will be on the website for vip members only so you watch the videos if you have questions you would email me um, unlimited email support for vip members and in addition to that i'm going to upload one new video uh, for vip members each week i don't know we might go we might do it live uh, it might be recorded and it could be um it could be a particular play, how um, how I won a game, breaking down, you know, analyzing a game I won. Maybe it's somebody has a question about what middling is. I might be covering that topic. So it's going to be something new um, every single week. And the cool thing about the website, the way it's set up, um, if you're subscribing to Power Rankings and you say, hey, you know what, I'm not doing well. I want to see what your daily picks are. You can upgrade or downgrade your membership and the membership's prorated. So you could sign up for $49.95, do the uh, professional handicap coaching for three months, and you say, hey, I got this thing figured out. Um, I just want to use the power rankings so I can handicap. You can downgrade there, and it would be prorated, et cetera. So that's pretty much it. Again, super excited. The site's live. It's secure, uh, so you can buy with confidence. Uh, MGcovers.com, you'll see the link. If you got any questions, uh, you can shoot me an email, mg at mgcovers.com. Um, and hey, like this video, subscribe. We're still going to pump out a ton of content. Uh, we're going to have one free daily pick every single day. Didn't get one out today, so sorry about that. Had a lot going on, but outside of that, we're going to pump out um, a lot of free content. And as always, hey, thanks for the support, and uh, can't wait to uh, see where we go with the channel. Peace.